This video explains how to add text elements to a base R plot using the text function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the plot that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new plot has been created and this plot is showing 10 data points in a scatter plot. You can also see that at this point, no text has been added to this plot. So this is what I'm doing in the next step in this tutorial in lines four to six of the code. So in line four of the code, I'm again drawing our plot without text, and then I'm adding the text function to this plot. And within the text function, I'm specifying the X and Y axis location of our text and I'm specifying the text label that I want to add to this plot. So if you run lines four to six of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is drawn once again, and this time it is also showing a text element at the bottom left of our plot, which is showing the text, this is my text. Now in the next step of this tutorial, I want to show you how to modify this text element. So this is what I'm doing in lines eight to 12. In line eight, I'm drawing our plot without text once again. Then I'm specifying the X and Y axis locations, the text label, as I already did in the previous example. And then I'm also specifying a hex color code in which I want to draw my text label. And I'm specifying the size of our text label by using the CEX argument. So if you run lines eight to 12 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again. And as you can see this time, we have drawn our text label at a different position, in a different size and with a different color. In the next example of this tutorial, I want to show you how to add multiple text elements to a plot. And I'm doing this as you can see in lines 14 to 18 of the code. So in line 14, I'm once again drawing our plot without text. Then I'm using the text function the first time, as you can see in lines 15 and 16. And then I'm applying the text function once again to create a second text label, as you can see in lines 17 and 18. Please note that the text labels are different because the first text label is, this is my first text, and the second text label is, this is my second text. And you can also see that the X and Y axis locations of these text labels are at different positions. So if you run lines 14 to 18 of the code, you can see that another plot has been created at the bottom right, which is showing two different text labels at different axis locations. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.